It holds him on the bike a little bit better. He doesn't have to use his arms quite as much, and so that's going to take some getting used to. You're saying he's riding the bike without using his arms? Less than on the bagger. Mm. Mm. I, I would think holding on would be like a prerequisite. He said the bagger had like a really short second step, and he never felt quite secure on it. This one he feels totally secure, so he's going to be able to loosen up. Kelly Klontz on the left side of the racetrack for the Steam Fitters Local. 602, and in the right side, Gianna Evaristo, part of that Scrappers racing team. Gianna, whose sister had kind of a tough run of it in her qualifying runs in the alcohol dragster earlier in the day. Let's see if Gianna can turn the uh, karma around. Kelly Klontz, husband Chris, taking some races off last year, but got the bike out there. Ellie Tonglet was on the bike. I'm expecting a great year. She's been very active on social media. That's the whole thing about the start of the season. Fresh start for Kelly Klontz and Gianna Evaristo, both looking to have their best year ever in the NHRA. They've had great experience under their belt. They've been working and testing and improving. Now's the time to show it, or at the very least, start to show it. Oh, a little smoke down there for Gianna. 684, 193 miles an hour, but let some of the smoke out down at the other end. A 682 for Kelly Klontz. I do believe that'll have the steam fitters. High-fiving on their side of the racetrack, 196 miles an hour. They're going to have to take a real close look at that racetrack as Kelly moves up to the number two spot. Gianna goes to number six. Yeah, Chris Klontz. Look at Chris down there fired up. Way to go. Number two qualifier, 11 bikes up on the board. Chris Klontz high-fiving all around. They have been going to work, and they are getting the results. Way to go. A long winter break, and it pays off with a strong Q1 performance.